It's that time of year again where you go and you nominate the best of Austin. I'm here with Kim. Tell us about some of these categories that people can submit their ideas to. Sure. Um, it is the uh, Best of Austin Awards. Um, we've been doing this for 30 something years, yeah. 33 I think. We're the oldest, longest running type of awards of this kind in yeah. the city. So we've got a good track record. And yeah, the first round is happening right now. It's mm -hmm. called the Reader's Poll. It's basically there are seven categories that we ask people to vote in. It's arts and entertainment, kids and family, nightlife, politics and media, services, shopping, sports and recreation. So. Huge swath. Yeah, there's a lot going on. 175 total categories within each of those sections. Okay. Uh, people do not have to vote in every single one of them, although we're super impressed when you do. It means that you really know Austin. You're into it. Yes. And there's lots of options. Like, okay, so we were talking about how each category that you just said, like the arts and entertainment, kids and family, there's a wild card. What is that meaning? There is. So in each of the sections, we have, you know, for instance, arts and entertainment, best museum, best art gallery, best visual art, best performance space in theater. I'm not going to go through all of them. Yeah. But we've got all of these set categories that you, you know, I think most people who are watching this right now are probably like, yeah, I know what the best movie theater in town oh, is. Duh. I should tell somebody about it. <laughs> yes, please. But additionally, you know, we can't catch every single category. And right. also, this city moves so fast. Yeah, like change here is, it's just boom, Rap boom, fire. boom. So we have a best wild card uh, category in each of these sections. So in arts and entertainment, if we don't have a category for whatever it is, and I'm not even going to I'm not even going to throw an idea out there. Yes. So if you look through this and you're like, well, my business or my best friend who does this amazing thing uh, is not reflected anywhere on these two pages, well, then you just write it in as a wild card. And if enough people write in a wild card, then it then becomes on the next ballot. Right. It's, it's on the ballot. But additionally, uh, we pay attention to these. So if you're just trying to draw our attention at the Austin Chronicle to whatever cool thing you're doing, That's somebody is going to read that. So, yeah. So, so win, right win. now is everybody's writing in. That's happening Monday until midnight. Yes. And by write in, I mean just literally, we're not giving you any names. Like, you you're filling in. this out. If you know the best place to tube in Austin or the best exer cla exercise class or the best florist or the best tattoo artist or the best barber shop or <clears throat> the best print publication, uh, then, yeah. The, you, write it in. You, you write it in, yes. And after that... On, the, on May 4th is when people can select. Yeah, so we're going to take a couple weeks off because it takes a lot of time yeah. to count up tens, literally tens of thousands of votes from Austinites like you. And then we will announce the finalists uh, for this second and last ballot uh, that runs, I think it's May 4th to 15th. So it's another real quick, you just got to get in there. And that one's a little bit easier because we are giving you the names. Yeah. All you got to do is, is you're circling, well, you're not actually circling, you're clicking a button because we all live on the internet now. True. But uh, yes, that's, that, that one's a little easier. But this is the round that we really need people yeah, need chiming people. in because, I, you know, I, I don't know what's cool at this point. I, I, I hesitate to age myself, but yes, <laughs> I am no longer hitting the streets in a way that I, that I once used to. It's different so I is. go to bed at like 4 p.m. on a Friday, so. I, that sounds pretty incredible, it's actually. It's honestly awesome. Yes. Anyways, if people want to fill out the ballot, what's the best way to do so? Well, we make it easy because there's a QR code right here. If you have a copy of this week's issue in your hands, which you absolutely should because we have Owen Wilson on I mean, the cover, on. and this was a personal bucket list item, putting him on the cover, and just check that right off. Additionally, if you don't have a copy of the paper in your hands, all you got to do is go to vote.austinchronicle.com. Super right. easy. Or just go to our website, austinchronicle.com. It's find literally it. pasted right all over our homepage. It's there. Thank Definitely you. help the Austin Chronicle out. Yes. Let's get some good things on this year's Best of Austin of 2023. Kim, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I look forward to seeing what everybody comes up with. Thank you so much, Kim. Thanks.